What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos and let's get started. So today I am partnering up with Sinful Colors to show you guys their sheer mats collection and I'm really excited about these. I know a lot of you guys asked me if I was going to be reviewing them and I finally got my hands on them so let me show them to you. Before we get into it really quickly, Sinful Colors is a super affordable nail polish brand that is three free, meaning they are free of three of the dangerous chemicals that are often found in nail polish. So they do not have formaldehyde, they do not have toluene, and they do not have DBP. And one thing that I absolutely love about Simple Colors, especially recently, is they really push the boundaries of nail polish. There's only so many colors of nail polish that exist in the world, and I'm a person who owns thousands of bottles, so it's hard to find something that is truly unique. But I feel like Simple Colors has been really experimenting with trying things that just don't exist in the nail polish world. Like their sneaker tech textured nail polishes, their savory scented nail polishes, and now with these sheer mattes, I feel like they're just the only mainstream brand that I'm seeing that's just doing really creative, innovative things, and honestly, I am here for it. I absolutely love seeing them experiment, so yeah, I'm just really excited about these. But yeah, like I said, this time around we've got the sheer mattes, so these polishes are all intentionally sheer. They have that jelly-like formula that I absolutely love. They all dry down to a matte finish, which is another thing I absolutely love, and each color color actually has a subtle sparkle running throughout as well. So yeah, there's a lot to be excited about here. Honestly, I am all for it. So let me show you guys the colors and we can just get started. So roll footage. So just a quick note, these polishes are a two-step system and step one is to go in with the color. So you actually do not need any base coat. So I'm just going to dive right in with the first shade, which is called Ruby Tutu. And this one is a really beautiful red jelly and true to the name of Ruby, it does lean very strongly pink which I absolutely love. It is a sheer polish. I'm going to do three coats of each color just to show you guys. So when you're applying it, it goes on glossy, but then once it dries, it looks matte on the nails. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like matte in two coats in case you are into the more sheer look. And then I'm also going to show you what it looks like matte in three coats. So here it is in two coats, fully dried, and you can see all of that matte goodness going on. I'm also going to show you a third coat because I do love a jelly that that is fully like saturated and colorful. And the cool thing about jellies, and it's something I always mention, is depending on how many coats you do, it can look like an entirely different nail polish. So if you're into like a very sheer wash of color, you could just do one coat or two coats. If you want it to be like the full bam color, then you can go in with three coats. So I'm also gonna be showing you guys the semi-matte top coat. And this one's really cool. It is a long wear chip resistant top coat, and it does keep that semi-matte look too the nails. So again, it goes on glossy and then it dries to that semi-matte sort of plasticky finish and it helps keep the manicure lasting longer while still having that unique finish. So here it is with that top coat on. Moving on to the next polish. This one is called Hot and Hazy and it's a really beautiful salmon pinky orange shade. So again, it's a really beautiful sheer matte polish and like all of the polishes in this collection, it does have that super subtle sparkle running throughout. This one I found to be a little bit more sheer. So it was a very soft wash of color on the first coat, still really nice and subtle on the second coat. And then on that third coat, I was able to get a more saturated color. But again, it really just changes depending on how many coats you do. And it's always just kind of fun to play around and see how you like it best. Actually, you know what I was just thinking that would be kind of a fun idea would be to do a skittle or ombre kind of manicure where each nail has one more coat than the last nail so it like forms a natural gradient that would be really cute anyway here's what this polish looks like in three coats before the semi matte top coat again you can just see those sparkles just like a little hint of them shining through and then once the light catches them they just look so beautiful and interesting and it kind of just reminds me of like sunlight on the ocean <laughs> it's a very summery collection in my mind next up we have the shade see-through citrine and this one is a super bright lemon yellow sheer matte polish again Again, with that sparkle running throughout. And this one, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous about it because I'm not a huge fan of jelly yellow nail polishes. I think this one was slightly better from what I have seen in the past because it does have a little bit of a green tinge to it. I think shades like this really depend on your skin's undertone. And for me, I am a very warm undertone person, so I'm not sure how I felt about this one. In two coats, I don't think I was a huge fan 
again in three coats. I thought it was pretty decent, so I probably wouldn't wear it with any less coats, but that's just my own personal preference. I do think the formula was really good. These are super self-leveling polishes. It's a nice thin formula and it's easy to push around on the nails and make sure that there's no patchiness, which I think is really impressive with a jelly polish. Sometimes they can be a little bit patchy where one side looks a lot more opaque than the other side, but these were really easy to use. So I think it's a very beginner friendly type of jelly to get into. So here it is with that semi matte top coat on. Like I said, I'm into it in three coats, but I personally don't love it in less coats than that. <laughs> Next up we have the shade Sheer Truce and oh my gosh this is the one I was the most excited for when I saw it in the bottle. It's this super stunning almost neon lime green sheer polish. Again drying to that matte finish and it does have those little sparkles running throughout. So if you are curious as to what I am wearing in the intro and outro of this video it's actually a skittle with the last five colors that I'm showing you starting with this shade Sheer Truce. So these are all of the shades that I have on my nails and honestly very cute combo so I'll let you guys know again at the end so you can see <laughs> but yeah this one I was totally in love with and in three coats it actually looks a little bit more full coverage than some of the others you still get that nice jelly visible nail line through but the color is just so bold and bright and like I said it's got this almost neon vibe to it so it's just really eye-catching I absolutely love it it definitely has a more chartreuse kind of vibe once it's on the nails because it is a jelly but I think that is just so much fun and again just applying that semi matte top coat just so you guys can see what that looks like when it's fully dry and you do want to make sure that you give it some time to dry because it does of course apply glossy but it dries down to that nice soft semi matte finish. Next up we have the shade Turquoise. <laughs> This is an absolutely incredible name and as you can guess from it it's a really beautiful super bold turquoise color and this one was another one I was just really excited about. It's such a bright and bold color and even in that first coat you get so much color payoff. In the second coat looks still super gorgeous and then in that third coat you get a little bit more coverage than with some of the other shades but you still get that nice little visible nail line. Personally I love the way a little bit of visible nail line looks. I don't know what it is about jellies but they just speak to me. I think they look so pretty and I feel like they kind of look just like a fancy way of having your own nails. I don't think that makes any sense but I really do love them. So yeah here it is in three coats. Like I said absolutely stunning. A little bit more full coverage going on there but you still see that visible nail line. The color itself is again just so vibrant and like almost neon going on there. So I just adore it. So once again, just showing you guys what this looks like with the semi matte top coat going on. And this is something that you guys actually ask me a lot with specialty polishes like this. And it's one thing that I absolutely love about Sinful Colors is they always have a top coat that goes with their specialty finishes. So they have a matte top coat, they have that sneaker texture top coat, and now they have this semi matte for this collection. So I am very appreciative of Sinful Colors for thinking of us who prefer to wear our colors for more than a few days. Next up we have the shade Kiss of Cobalt and this is a very intense royal primary blue sheer matte again with those sparkles running throughout and this was yet another one that I was just really excited about. I don't know what it is but there's just something about a royal blue jelly that just feels like my ideal color for this type of finish. I think it always ends up being my favorite just loving the way that it looks. It kind of looks like I don't know a mix of the ocean and also maybe a starry dusky sky going on. There's just something about it that feels so perfect to me. It's always very summery vibes going on and I feel like just having those little sparkles in there makes such a huge difference. I never would have thought that it would add so much to a jelly polish but it really does and as you can see like when I'm moving around the way that those little sparkles catch the light is just so incredible. I really love that little detail. So again here it is in three coats and you can just see how much coverage you can build up with each of the coats there and I'm just going to top it off with that semi matte top coat just so you can see what that looks like. I also think these colors would be really gorgeous with a glossy top coat but you know me I cannot resist a matte finish so I absolutely love it this way as well. Next up we have the shade V 
Veiled in Violet. So as you can see in the bottle, this one is actually a cool toned purple shade. Again, it's a sheer matte. It has those sparkles running throughout. But the really interesting thing about this polish, it's one of the more sheer finishes. And I think this one is actually really cool because it kind of depends on, again, your skin's undertone. And since I'm a very warm undertone, you can actually see that my nails kind of transform it into a more warm tone shade, which I just think is actually really cool because it kind of has like transformative powers on your nails. And you can see it looks a little bit cooler toned on the free edge of my nail, but it's still very like warm and almost like orchidy colored around my skin area. So cool little detail there. So here it is once more with that top coat. You can see how that really nice semi matte formula looks with all of the colors. And I love that it's got like a little bit of a shine to it, but it's like a very plasticky shine. That's what I always call these sort of semi matte finishes. I just think they look like plastic. <laughs> and last but definitely not least, we have the shade Hot Pink Tights. And this one is a super bright, super fun, almost neon pink shade. In the first coat, it actually looks so gorgeous. Like I would just wear this as a one coater any day. I just think it looks so soft and subtle. But as you add on more coats, it starts looking more and more bright and bold and gorgeous. I also love it in two coats, but honestly, I just cannot get enough of the way that it looks in three coats when you just get that full depth of color going on, when you have all of those really gorgeous sparkles in there and you get that little touch of visible nail line that I just love so much the way that that looks. So yeah, here it is in three coats, dries down to that gorgeous matte finish. And I am just going to finish it off with the semi matte top coat so you guys can see what that looks like. And here it is semi matte again, just super gorgeous. So yeah, here are all of these shades. I know not everybody loves jellies, but I am so into them. So I'm just super pumped about this collection. I think every color was really gorgeous. I loved how vibrant they were in three coats, but a lot of them I would definitely just wear as a one or two coater as well. I think they all just have so much to offer. And again, if you guys missed it, the bottom four shades plus the green on top are the ones that I'm wearing in the intro and outro. But I feel like honestly, any combination of these would make such a good skittle. I feel like just they all look so gorgeous together. It's just a perfect rainbow. So yeah, those are the polishes. And I have to say I am really into it. I love when Sinful Colors does these experimental types of finishes. And honestly, even if I don't like the result of their experimental stuff, I still love seeing them do unique things because it just makes me feel like there's so much more to explore in the nail polish industry. So I totally love that. But these sheer mattes for me were an absolute win. I love jelly polishes. I love matte polishes. I love the combination of them. So I'm just over the moon. <laughs> for some reason, there's just something so summery about that sheer formula to me. Like when I see a polish that just looks squishy and jelly-like, it just makes me think of summers like laying by the pool. I don't know, maybe it just reminds me of like water and like seeing through water. I don't know what it is, but there's something about it that I absolutely love. Just feels like the perfect summer nail polish to me. The other thing I absolutely love about this collection is that even though these are sheer polishes, they're still really vibrant, bright colors. And that's something that I think is usually missing from sheer nail polish collections because they're usually like those very soft shades, which don't get me wrong, I like those, but I think we were really missing on having like these bright, vibrant, electric kind of colors in this sheer formula. So I'm just really happy to see Sinful Colors doing it. So these polishes are available in a few different places. You can get them from Walmart. I will put links down in the description that you can check out if you're interested in purchasing them. They also have six packs available on Amazon. So I will link that down below as well. So you can check that out if you're interested. So yeah, that is my thoughts, but I would love to hear from you guys. What do you think of these? What are your thoughts on the sheer mats? Do you want to see more of them? Because honestly, I am totally on board with them making more of these. Have you picked any of them up? If you have, or if you're planning to, let me know in the comments, we can chat about it. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Huge shout out to my cosmic admirals on Patreon, Amanda M, Braxton Scott, Rainbow J, Kristen, and Jessica Taylor. I really appreciate your support and I will see you guys in the next video.
Bye. Bonus fun fact, did you guys know that Sinful Colors was founded in 1991? Because I was also founded in 1991, which is to say I was born in 91. So me and Sinful Colors are twins, but let's get to a real fun fact. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Stacy, and Stacy wants to know, are short nails just a personal preference for you, or is it due to the type of work you do, or something to that effect? That is a great question. It's actually something that I get asked a lot, so I'm glad I get an opportunity to tell you guys. So I feel like there's a couple of reasons why I like to keep my nails short. The one reason being that I just prefer it. I think my nails look better when they're on the shorter side. I used to actually keep them even shorter and then once everything happened in 2020 I started growing them a tiny bit longer. So now they're a little bit longer than they used to be but they're still on the short side. So yeah, main reason being that I just like the way that they look the most this way. Also I do wear contact lenses and I know this is probably not the safest way to do it but I do take out the lenses with my nail instead of with my fingers. So I do need to keep my nails short for that reason. And also I just feel like for my personal lifestyle, I, it's just harder for me to function when my nails are longer. I do occasionally like having press on nails to just elongate my nails a little bit and make them longer for an occasion or event or something like that. But I always like to just come back to my short nails when I'm done because it's just easier for me to do my day-to-day -day things. I have a hard time like typing and writing when my nails are really long. I don't know if that's like a normal thing, but maybe it's just something that takes getting used to but it's just not really for me. I do love the way that long nails look on other people. I just feel like when my nails grow out, I, I don't love the way that they look. So I just, I feel like they look the best when they're at this length. <laughs> but yeah, that is it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.